Today, we're reacting to videos that you sent me in the past few weeks. Let's go. All right, so the first video here is from a creator named Malik FR. Looks crazy already. This is insane. That video was crazy. That probably took him days just to finish editing that. There's a lot of hyperlapses involved in that video. Tough to do, especially with a crowd. I believe he did it at Oceaga, which is a music festival. And as you can see in the video, there's a lot of people around you. So for him to be able to do that and move around like that and capture what he captures is amazing. I guess I'll follow him too. Set my keyframes and that's how the results are. This short sequence is made up out of three clips. So yeah, you can see that the video was just shot on a 360 camera and a lot of it was manipulated and edited in post afterwards, right? So I've actually heard of, uh, I can't even see his name properly, Bach Visuals, Philip. His name is Philip. I've actually seen some of Philip's work before and uh, he makes some really cool stuff. So he's definitely another creator that you guys need to follow. And do I follow him? Yes, I do. I do follow him. Shout out Philip. I remember now why I followed him. He did a lot of car videos. So I just want to get some inspiration from other creators out there. But his stuff is really, really good. Make sure to check it out. Before I start, I have seen this one before. I got a few people send me this video and really, really well done. If you guys know that I love doing transitions and this is a really cool one where he does it in such a smooth way where you don't even know where he cuts and meshes the two clips together. But let's watch it. Masterpiece. How do you do it so smoothly? It's so cool. A bunch of other people have sent this video to me and I want to try it myself. Maybe just a couple scenes just to see if I can do it just as smoothly as Quack Show. I want to try to do it to see if I can do it just as smoothly as he does it. I've done transitions like this before, but not as smooth as what he did and showed us here. So amazing, amazing creator. The next one is by YK. I have seen this creator before as well. Okay, so that, that's really cool. So what he does is he uses his fingers to kind of mimic your eye movement. So it looks like it's your point of view, which is kind of cool because I do a lot of POV videos. Maybe that's something I want to try out here. Mine does not look as good as his, but now you can tell that I'm using my fingers to cover the lens. His looks really smooth, but mine does not look smooth at all. So I have to play around with that one a little bit more. I think part of the video is a hyperlapse. It's kind of cool how he didn't have the structures and then have it come in into the shot right at the beginning there. Yeah, like this shot here where the structures just kind of came in and filled in the shot. I know Ryan Nangle is another Final Cut creator on YouTube. He has a tutorial on how to do a similar effect. So check out Ryan Nangle. He'll show you how to do that cool effect. All right, so the next video here is a, a Nike commercial. So the person who sent this to me asked how they can replicate this shot. Just by looking at it, if I had to shoot it in my office, it's probably have a projector of some type. Project the clouds on a wall or if you don't have a projector you use your tv but it'll just be a little bit tighter i would use the projector i have here in the office and project the clouds onto the wall and then i would probably shoot each of these elements separately on a green screen so i would keep the camera in the same spot and then probably film the shoe on a green screen maybe on a string and then slowly lower it down like what it's doing here. And I would do the same thing with the basketball. That's what I would do. I don't know how it would turn out in my head right now. It looks like it would turn out really nice and cool, but I would have to try it. So maybe another YouTube tutorial. 
let me know what you guys think. Should I do a video on this? All right. So the next video here is for a creator named Adrian, who I'm actually a huge fan of. Does your short form storytelling need some help? Yeah. Then this video is for you. First, stop worrying about the outcome, the views, follows, every superficial thing. Take that shit and throw it out the window. Good tip. Step one, get right into it. Drop right into the premise. No calls to action, no introduction to yourself or your channel. Those first five seconds are so important. Do not waste it on worthless information. Nobody cares who you are. They want to be either entertained or educated. Step two, the plot. What's the issue? What are you solving? What are you trying to overcome? Stories fall flat without the continuous rise in interest done with tension. Avoid a plot that unfolds like we did this, then we did this, then we did this afterwards. We need purpose. What happened here that led you to the next scene? How is your story evolving? A perfect story is a boring story. The final step is resolution. Once you've reached the pinnacle, the climax of your story, did we solve it? Did we win? Lose? Did we learn? We need a conclusion. Tie it all together. Remember, this is your movie, your book. Present it as so, and you'll be good in no time. All of Adrian's videos have been so helpful, so definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Add Adrian. It's a must. Hey, this golf shot. Got to drill a hole in a golf ball, put down the green screen. And I wanted to use the same camera that I used for the shot, so I had the drone set up. Can't put a drone on a tripod, so I had to put it on these Tupperware here. The light from the drill was coming off one of the golf ball, so I had to tape that shut. Get a clean shot of somebody golfing without a golf ball, then comp in the golf ball, and this is what it looks like. Really cool shot. So I actually did something like this last year for MLB, which got me into their creator class, where I had it on the drill, had the ball spinning, and then kind of like put it all together post afterwards. It's really cool. And then honestly, it was actually pretty easy to do. All you need is a drill and a drone, and you can make this shot easily. Okay, so this one is by Edit Sun. His name is Edwin. I know, I think he's Canadian. I don't even know how to break this down because I've never done a video like this. A bunch of photos that they put together, stitched it, and then kind of like are all the effects in post afterwards in After Effects, which is, I think I've seen them use After Effects. So yeah, really cool stuff. Edwin has been creating some really cool stuff for a long time now. Let's watch another one. Yeah, so you can see here something super simple. He shows you how he shoots it. Everything's just static, so it's on like a tripod. And it looks cool. Edwin has a lot of stuff on there. Make sure to go check out his other stuff. If you're into cool special effects, add them up, subscribe, follow. Thank you again for watching and thank you for sending that in. If you want to see more of these reactions, make sure to subscribe. Send me more videos to react to. And if you want to see a little bit more, make sure to watch this video right here.